Okay, so what I have today is 82 grams of hand-spun 100% wool from my sheep named Liam. And he is a Shetland sheep, so I am going to try a dip dyeing experiment that I saw on the Chemnitz channel. And basically it's breaking the colors out of the Wilton Violet um, icing color. So in there, there is blue number one and red number three. So I'm gonna slowly dip it in and then at the end will be the lightest, like a blue. So we'll see how it goes. This is my first time doing it. So here I have 12 cups of water and three tablespoons of white vinegar. And to that I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of the dye that was mixed with water. And then I'm gonna start dipping immediately. So we're gonna dunk. Gradually go deeper into the wool. That color right there is outstanding. I am kind of a purple girl. I'm not yet seeing the blue break out. Now I can kind of see the blue breaking in there. And so I'll fully put all of the wool in the dye bath. And you can see that top part is blue. So it looks like there's a lot of blue left into the dye bath. So I'm just going to let this simmer to soak up all that color in there. Okay, so I let the yarn simmer in the pot for about 40 minutes and there's still quite a bit of <clears throat> blue left in there so I took it off the heat and I let it sit about two hours at room temperature and so now I'm going to wash it okay so I wanted to show you the conclusion to my dip dyeing experiment with Wilton's violet so this is my hank of yarn and you can see the different colors and how the blue and the purple kind of broke out the blue kind of came at the end and it is so pretty like it is so beautiful I love it there's not a lot of yarn here but I'm thinking I could probably make a pair of yoga socks or some fingerless gloves I don't think there's enough to do a hat but it was an experiment so I didn't want to use up too much wool um, but I am really pleased with it and I think I'm going to make more of these that I'm going to sell at my um, farmer market stand. So if you come to my farmer market stand and you're looking for yarn, I'll have similar to this hopefully. Then also in the dye pot when I took this out there was some blue left over so I didn't want it to go to waste so I did add some drops of yellow food coloring and a couple drops of green and I dyed this wool now this is I forgot how many grams this is but I think it's like 200 grams so this I dyed with the leftover dye bath and um, when it dried it turned out kind of bright but I would do like a coffee stain over the top of the yarn and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's not as bright and it's a really pretty kind of olive green and I have a pattern in mind. I'm going to make myself 
a totally red hat. It's going to look like Indiana Jones, and I'm even going to use a feather from my favorite chicken henna to put in the hat. So that was kind of cool that I had some leftover blue that I could add some other things to to make this green. So if you're interested in dyeing anything like this, I would suggest um, trying the dip dyeing with the Wilton's Violet. It worked out great. One thing that I would like to mention is that when you're working with 100% wool, you don't want to do drastic temperature changes. You don't want to wring it or do a lot of agitation because you can felt the wool. So when I had let this yarn cool, I let it cool in the pot to room temperature. So that's just a tip for you. So thank you, Liam, for your beautiful wool. And I'm going to get to spinning so I can dye more. Thank you.